I got the horse right here. It all seems a horrible dream. Some take back your So let's keep the party polite. Never get out of my sight. Never get out of my sight. Stick here, beg me. Stick here, beg me. Luck, and we hope you come out on Thursday the 18th to check it out. Molly Kiefer. Oh God, no. <laughs> we hope that you'll... We hope the freshmen are adjusting and have a great rest of their house. Boys, good luck, and we hope you... Dang it, my mask keeps falling down. <laughs> Contributions for their culture and everything they provide for us. This has been butchered by Jeremiah Clayton for a total of 19 times since we started the recording. Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, November 8th. I'm Molly Kiefer. And I'm Annabelle Freeman, and here's what's going on at BHS. The BHS food drive is this week. All items will be given to the BCSC Food and Clothing Pantry. Bring your items to your first period class. The class with the most items will win DECA cookie coupons. The Equality Alliance meets every Tuesday after school in room A2404 until 4 p.m. Make sure to check out their Instagram page for more information. BHS.EqualityAlliance. Congrats to the sound of Brownsburg Marching Band and Guard who finished in fifth place at the ISSMA State Finals on Saturday, which is tied for their highest finish ever. Forget that BHS has a lost and found located in the main office. If you have lost an item in the building this year, stop by and see Mrs. Pond or Mrs. Clary with a description of the item to see if it was found and turned in. Any Spanish club student interested in going to Machu Picchu, a Peruvian restaurant here in Indianapolis on November 20th needs to get a permission slip from Mr. Sloan. Please return the permission slip to Mr. Sloan by our next club meeting November 16th. DECA is hosting a Women in Business Night in the BHS Auditorium this Wednesday, November 10th. The event starts at 7 and ends at 9. They will be having five speakers come and talk about their experience in their field of business, marketing, finance, hospitality, management, and entrepreneurship. The first 75 people who sign up get a free pad folio. You can sign up using the QR code on the screen or in the DECA store. The BHS cafeteria staff is happy to announce that the grind is now open once again. Also, the Grind 2 and Senior Academy will be opening today. They will be open for breakfast from 7.15 to 7.45 each morning and open again at lunch. Stop by to get some coffee or treats. They look forward to serving you. Freshmen through juniors, there will be a last chance picture retake day on Monday, November 15th. If you are a new student or if you are one of the students who received their photos after the first retake day and need to be re-photographed, please stop by the main office to add your name to the retake list. All students must have their photo taken by the photographer in order to appear in the yearbook, but you do not have to order a photo package. There are many strange holidays that are celebrated in the U.S. Agreed. Gabriel Malik has gained some info on the upcoming National Tongue Twister Day. National Tongue Twister Day is not among the most popular holidays celebrated here within the U.S. Regardless, it is still a very interesting holiday. The origin of this holiday is unknown, but was believed to have been created to test people's abilities on saying tongue twisters. To celebrate this holiday, people often form groups to come up with and say as many tongue twisters as possible in a sort of competition. Okay, ready, one, two, three. Rubber baby, rubber baby, rubber baby, rubber baby, rubber baby, rubber baby. Tongue twisters themselves can be hundreds of years old. For example, the famous Sally Sells Seashells by the Seashore Twister was created in 1850 and is believed to be the first ever tongue twister created. Of course, some tongue twisters are more difficult to say than others. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the most difficult tongue twister to say is the sixth sick sheik's sixth sheep's sick. And here's another one to try. The cheap shop sold sheep chops. National Tongue Twister Day is taking place today this year, and we hope that if you do celebrate this holiday that you have a good time. Gabriel Malk, BHS TV. Thanks, Gabe. Annabelle, do you sell seashells by the seashore? No, but is Molly jolly when she gets a lolly? Yeah. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Arabella, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys. Another exciting weekend is in the books for BHS Athletics. On Friday night, the football team hosted Carmel in a rematch for the Sectional 5 Championship. 
The dogs came out hot from the start this year, going all the way down the field on the first drive and finishing with Jaden Whitaker connecting with Brady Probst for a touchdown. Carmel would then fumble the ensuing kickoff and Whitaker would keep it himself on the next play to put the dogs up 14-0 very early on. In the second quarter, Garrett Shirell had a powerful run from 15 yards out to put the dogs up by 21. After a Carmel touchdown in the third quarter, the dogs answered when Whitaker found Shirell in the end zone for another touchdown. And the dogs are your 2021 sectional champions. Final score was 31 to seven. Here's a look at the updated football playoff bracket. The dogs will now travel to Ben Davis for a shot at the regional title. The winner of that game will take on the winner of the Center Grove versus Lawrence North game in the semi-state. Good luck guys. Football teams were back in action hosting North Central on Saturday night. The varsity came up just short to the Panthers, 44 to 39. Kaylin Terrell led the dogs with 15 points, including 13 points in the second half. Maya Webb added nine points in the game. The JV team had a nice 56 to 31 win. Morgan Montgomery led the dogs with 12 points, followed by Bryn Barnett with 11 and Claire Miller with seven. Nice job, ladies. The JV and varsity will travel to Plainfield on Tuesday. The freshman team earned a 28 to 13 win on Saturday over Plainfield. Alana Barker led the dogs with nine points, followed by Hallie Souter with eight and Izzy Neal with six. Housie Diallo had great defense on the night. The freshmen are back in action on Saturday versus Ben Davis. Let's take a look and see when our other BHS winter sports will officially get underway. The boys basketball team will host Center Grove for a scrimmage on Thursday, November 18th, then travel to North Central on Wednesday, November 24th for their regular season start. The swimming and diving teams will host a mini invitational on Monday, November 22nd, then travel to Terre Haute North on Tuesday the 23rd. And the wrestling team will host Westfield on Wednesday, December 1st. Then we'll travel to Ohio for the Harrison Duels on Saturday, December 4th. Good luck to all of our winter athletes. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Arabella. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday. And by some chance found a bottle in my fist. People all said beware. People all said beware. You're on a trip. Great big wave came and washed me over.